Hi, Julie Jones from SSB Performance, Smarter, Stronger, Better Mindset Training, here with this week's Mindset Made Simple Tip of the Week, and we're sticking with pressure this week. Pressure. No songs, just talking about pressure and how we react to it, how we think about it, and how we can perform better when we're under it. So we have this great thought that there are these clutch people and then there are people who choke. Well, research has been done on experts in their field, Michael Jordan, for instance, major players in all of sports. And what researchers have looked at is how do people really perform under pressure? Do they always succeed? Obviously not, but are clutch people really clutch? Do we really perform best under pressure? When we have a deadline that we need to get to, are we, we write the best paper at the last minute? Do we make the best choices at the last minute? Do we make the best choices, make the best actions under pressure? The answer is no. Actually, we have a tendency to do worse, which is really no surprise. So even a person like Michael Jordan had a much better shooting percentage in normal situations than he did in pressure or clutch situations. He just happened to make more clutch situations than most. He was in more clutch situations than most maybe. But there is, it is true that some people handle pressure better than others. So how do we land in this group that can handle pressure better than the average Joe? First, we have to sort of think about the fact that we're not going to rise to the occasion. We are gonna fall back on our habits. We're gonna fall back on our plans. So for us to expect to do something superhuman in a pressure situation is unrealistic. When we think that way, we lose confidence. We lose our way. We don't follow the process. When we think we have to do something superhuman, we don't do what we normally do. We try to do more. We open our zone. We rush, whatever it might be. We don't stick to the process because we think we have to be clutch. Well, if we understand that clutch doesn't really exist, maybe we can reframe this and stick with process with a few tools. Last week, we talked about doing what Michael Phelps did and looking at all the situations that might come. We're gonna take that to another level now. We talked about writing down all the things that cause us pressure and then eliminating some of them based on the fact that they really don't matter or where's the pressure really coming from? Is it coming from outside sources, us, whatever the pressure might be, thinking about that can help us plan for dealing with it. One other thing we can do is we can whoop W-O-O-P, Gabrielle Ottingen. I think that's how you say it. I even looked at the pronunciation and now I can't remember what, they, what it said, but she's from NYU. She is a, a professor that looks at mental contrasting. Whoop is a mental contrasting construct. We think about what we want, our wish. We talked about this in visualization. It's important to, it's, what we see matters, right? What's our wish? What do we want? The first O is the outcome. What do we want? What See it happen. Here's what we want. Here's what's gonna look like. Here's how we're gonna feel. Here's how it's going to look when we get what we want. The second O is obstacle. The truth of it is that everything has an obstacle. Everything we do has an obstacle. My Zoom isn't working correctly today. Whether I can get this recording off my computer is still a mystery. I tried to plan for it. We'll see if it worked that everything has an obstacle, wish, outcome, obstacle, which leads us directly to our plan. If we can think about what's coming and do it systematically like this. Yes, we talked last week about this is what Michael Phelps did. He thought about these things, but this is a plan, a set plan. What do I want? What's it gonna look like? What do I have to worry about? Worry is really not the word we wanna look at, but what's gonna come up? What could come up? And what are my plans for that? If X, then Y. Here's what I'm going to do. Thinking about the obstacle, understanding we can't predict the future, but we can plan for it, gives us confidence. Predicting what might happen or thinking about what might happen makes us more comfortable when it happens. If we don't plan for obstacles, if something unexpected comes up, we go right back into not following our process, trying to do something superhuman to get past something that we could have planned for if we would have taken a moment to do so. We can also reframe our anxiousness. Anxiousness is excitement without breathing. We can throw in our breathing techniques. Instead of saying, I'm a nervous wreck, we can literally reframe it and say, I'm excited. This feeling is getting me going. It's preparing me for this experience. 
these small things, reframing, thinking about what we've done in the past and reliving our great expectations that we've had before. What have we done well? Let's relive it. Go back, go to our highlight reel, right? Thinking, I've done this before, I can do it again. Reframing the pressure can change how we approach it. All of these things can make us more comfortable. And I don't know about you, but I do much better when I'm comfortable. Outside of my comfort zone, I'm not as good. So how can we get to our comfort zone as much as possible? We can whoop, we can reframe, we can relive, and we can attack pressure situations with a plan. So this week, see what you can whoop. She says you can do it in about five minutes, maybe even less. Our wish, our outcome, our obstacle, our plan, our reframe, our relive, and there we go. We're handling pressure. Pressure's inevitable. What are we gonna do about it? Then we can whoop it up. If you'd like to le learn more about this, read last week's tip or go back to my blog at sspperformance.com backslash blog to read all the tips I've had. This is tip number 70. So there's a lot of information there. If you'd like to connect, email me at juliej at sspperformance.com. I'd love to connect to help you and your team or those you lead. Until next week, see what you can whoop. <laughs>